What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. Today, we got to talk more about this Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark thing that's blowing up on the internet. Really, it's Kennedy Carter, um, teammate of Angel Reese, but Angel Reese was seen throwing a bow in the game yesterday, throwing Caitlin to the ground. Some saying it's a flop, some saying that it's legit contact. You know, Angel Reese is just as jealous as the other girls, is what people saying. And some people like, hey, grow up. You know, this is physical WNBA basketball. It's what it's supposed to be. It happened to Angel the other day. She was pulled out the air and she didn't cry about it in her post game, et cetera, et cetera. You got different takes, but as a result, we've seen that Angel Reese has been fined $1,000 for not making herself available to the media after the game. So Angel Reese has gotten a fine. Kennedy Carter's foul has now been assessed a flagrant one after the league reviewed it. And then the Chicago Sky, as a team, have been fined five thousand dollars for not for not um, complying with the league's uh, media policies. You know, so we're seeing some fines coming down in the WNBA based off that. Now Kennedy Carter um, said, you know, she she went into the video where she said she won't answer no Caitlin Clark questions, and this is what she said. She said, and that's that on that because besides three point shooting, what does she even bring to the table, man? And so many would say that's a hating comment. To me, that's a hating comment because she brings you flying on a jet, you know, to the table. You weren't doing that before. I know you may not hold that in, in high regard, but you wouldn't love to lose that luxury. So learn to beat this player, talk trash to this player. You ain't got to kiss their butt, but you got to respect them. You know, you need this player in the league to continue to elevate it. Chandler Parsons, he said, where are her teammates at? What the F? And so a lot of people were wondering that. That's what Matt Barnes asked in his video. Where were her teammates at? And Carter goes under there and says, I'm cool with them. Now what? So she basically saying they more on my side than Caitlyn's side. They just happen to be on her roster, but they gonna ride. They ain't gonna ride for her against me because I'm cooler with them than she is. Um. And so Draymond Green was saying that the team needs to invest in an enforcer. And Kennedy went under there. She said, we grown as F. And y'all talking about enforcer, man, get the F out of here. Coop or shut up. And she started retweeting things like she owns Caitlin Clark with their stat lines and different things like that, man. So um, it, it's very interesting that she's taking this route on social media. Uh, Teresa Witherspoon kind of kind of uh, protected her yesterday, man, because they was – answering they was asking her questions and Witherspoon could see uh that she was kind of buckling under the pressure and that she might blurt out something she was like that's enough and that was a good job as a coach you know to be able to um come up there and say something like that didn't let her lean into it because you know the inexperience she could see through what the media is doing especially you know working in the in the uh, NBA too you know she was responsible for a lot of the work with Zion um on the New Orleans Pelicans, man. So she she she's been around. She's been around, and, and of course she was a player at a high level and all that too. But she's seen these type of things that the media do, and she kind of cut that. Saved her a fine that she was probably leaning into. Um. So yeah, man. I just want to share that. I don't want to take too much of you guys' time, but yeah, Angel Reese was fined, man. And um, what I will say is that. Caitlin Clark has to be appreciated, man, in the WNBA. They don't have to kiss her butt. I want them to compete at a high level. Can't take cheap shots. Can't get her injured. You know, she's the ticket right now. So when you play against her, you put your brand on the line, you know, and you go out there and, and you try to elevate your brand. You you see her, you see her in front of you, you a better player? Cool. Now go out there and dominate her on the court. And maybe some things will come your way, but you gotta, you gotta have her on the court to do that to her, cause that's when all the eyes are gonna be there. So it just makes business sense, right? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace. Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down. No, I'm not gonna take it down. Oh. Skip. 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 Skip.